Hey everybody, welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by tutvid.com in conjunction with phillyisugly.com, which is a time-lapse project I've been shooting over these past few months here over the course of summer of 2013. If you want to check it out, you can check out the website phillyisugly.com. What we're going to talk about today is bulb ramping, and I have a couple of videos on, in the behind the scenes section of the Philly is Ugly site uh, where I talk about bulb ramping when I'm actually out in the field shooting with the camera. But what I'm here to talk about today is sort of the post production side of it, how I can work with it. So, just to give you a little bit of context and, and describe what we're talking about. As I'm shooting this time lapse image, which is just a series of still photographs, I've got a small sampling here of these images. I was shooting this sequence at sunset. So obviously, as it gets later and later, you lose light, right? You start out with it being very bright, and as the night goes on, you can see it gets darker and darker and darker until finally it's completely pitch black. So, in order to combat this, what I did was I, I let the camera get darker and darker and darker. And when it got to this point, I adjusted my camera and brighten things up again just by adjusting the shutter speed. And you can see here in the metadata we go from shooting at 1 15th of a second to 1 8th of a second. That's one full stop of light. And I talk about why I, I work with one full stop of light and uh, maybe I'll go over it here again. I basically do it because it makes the post production easier because we can easily uh, fade together these two images when we know that it's just one full stop of light that we're fading. So what I'm going to do is in order to fade from this darker image to the lighter image so we don't in our film have this very sudden jump to a brighter image which obviously looks very bad. We want to fade that together. So we can do a couple things. We can either make these darker frames, these 20 darker frames, these are 20 images. We can either make these brighter leading into the brighter image or we can start with a brighter image and choose 20 frames and make these darker until they progressively meet up and just mesh perfectly into the other images. I think I'm going to make the darker images brighter. So I'm going to start with this image and I'm going to select 20 images back which would be right here. All right, Bridge is telling me I've got 20 images selected and it's just slightly off screen so you can't see it. And I'm going to hit Command or Control R to open up the Camera Raw Editor. Now. Here's where it gets a little bit tricky. Um, and again, it, it's just a matter of getting your mind wrapped around it. Once you do, you'll have it, you'll understand it, you'll know exactly how it works. So I need to start here with this image, the Delaware hyphen underscore 0076. And I can see that that's my first image. And I'm progressively going to make this sequence get brighter until it meshes and meets up with our brighter images. And remember, it's one full stop of light. Now what is one full stop of light in the camera raw editor, right? We know what it is in the camera. We can just adjust that if you understand uh, shutter speed and things like that. You know that it's the difference between let's say 1 15th of a second and 1 8th of a second. Um, however, here in camera raw, it might seem a little trickier, but it's not because Adobe is very smart. See here with the exposure slider, one full stop of light is 1.00. That's one full stop. So where was I? Was I just at I was at plus 0 0.5. I was just at 0 0.50. So that's a half stop of light has been added to the image that came out of the camera raw, uh, or the, the very, very raw image out of camera. So we need to start by making this brighter. Okay, so if this is if this is plus 0 0.5, by the time we get to our 20th image all the way down here, we want this image to be plus 0.5. 1.50. So that's going to give us that increase of one full stop of light and if our math is correct is going to mesh perfectly with our image here on the end and give us a, a wonderful fade. So what I'm going to do and here's the reason that I choose 20 images by the way because over the course of one stop of light right how many do a visual I set the exposure back to zero every time you hit the up or down arrow key it goes up by just five percent. So five percent goes into 100 20 times. So I can, you know, every image over the course of 20, I can just adjust it that little tick. All right. So here, what we're going to do is we're going to start at 0 0.50 and I'm going to boost this to 0 0.55. Go to my next image, boost that a couple times, the up arrow key, 0 0.60, and then 0 0.65, and then up to 70, and so on and so forth. And just go through all of the images, just knocking them up 5% at a time. And eventually, what you're going to have. Is a perfect uh, a perfect little fade. Now you can always just you know click back and check the image to make sure you're entering the correct exposure value when you're doing something that's as repetitive as this. It can be very very easy to make a mistake. And then I'm just going to go right up to plus one, and we're going to go plus one, and then another little five percent added to the end of that. And just keep doing this until we get all the way up to one point five zero, which. If our math is correct, again, we'll be uh, right here on the last frame, basically. So 1.25, whoops, hello, take one image, 
1.20, there's 1.25, and we got to get this guy up to 1.30, and this would be 1.35, 1 1.4, 1.45, and then 1.50, and we have an extra frame down here, 1.50. So there we go. Now what I'm going to do is just hit select all right up here and choose done. And camera roll is going to adjust and create our fade. All right. So now if I, if I just scroll through this quickly with my arrow keys and use watch over here, it becomes much, much harder to pick out where the light change happens. You sort of just have this nice fade that happens and the light and color change. And then up here you can see we have another light change where I would then have to go ahead again and do another, grab another 20 frames and go in and adjust these frames to mesh and fade together these two frames where we have another stop of light being added to the camera. So that is how I dealt with after I shot the bulb ramp in the field with that, you know, add the, the stop of light through the camera. That is how I then came in and adjusted uh, the sequence using camera raw to fade that stuff together to give, to give one nice smooth sequence in uh in the time lapse uh film so that's how i did it i hope you understood that it's a little tricky it's it's really something you have to go and do and play with and, and you'll understand it right away it's fairly simple um, but it's just something that's a little more difficult to explain in the abstract so that's it for this one thanks for sticking around and checking it out guys i uh, hope you enjoyed it make sure you go check out the website that's www tutvid.com for more great free video tutorials and go check out the film as well phillyisugly.com and that'd be really cool so i'll catch you guys later